if you are a tech nerd like me, then you might have set your calendar, grab your favorite snacks and stuck in front of your computer screen to watch Google's October 15th launch event. And my reaction was... Meh. Not because everyone knew everything about Pixel 4 in the first place, Google itself has leaked it even its features were leaked by Google on their Twitter account. If you still somehow don't know anything about Pixel 4, then here's the recap. And I have to admit, the design language of this Google product is really different. It feels unique. Most of the Android manufacturers are busy nowadays just taking a design and keep replicating it. It feels refreshing to see my favorite panda color again on a Pixel. The only concern which I have is about battery life because 2800 mAh cell coupled with a 90Hz display is somewhat worrisome. Aside from a new display, a big forehead and a camera bump, the new Pixel exclusive feature is motion sense. It means that phone can detect your presence thanks to the radar system that Google built into its top bezel. It feels good that the phone automatically wakes up and prepares itself for a face unlock as you reach for it, or gradually reduce the volume of the alarm when you reach out to turn it off, or you could swipe and switch the music tracks. All of this stuff feels really nice, especially that reaching out part, but after the buzz, will you even care? It's pretty similar to Google Assistant and other voice assistant apps, that you don't need to touch your phone to interact with it. The problem is, voice control is very limited and isn't very reliable at this stage, and most of the time you still manually tell these programs to do stuff. Seeing at you Bixby, we have seen LG's G8 to do an identical thing yesteryear. And yeah, I know it was a total dumpster fire to begin with. My point is, if you are reaching out to hold and interact with your touchscreen anyway, then why even bother? Just go ahead and swipe on the display, or press the mute button. Still, Google's attempt is way impressive than LG's or Samsung's attempts. I think this tech is not used at its full potential on the phones, and doesn't make much sense. For having a fun party trick for your phone? Yes please. But for anything else? Not really. I think this tech will make much more sense on devices like smart speakers, smart lights or smart TVs where sometimes you just cannot push the button. As I said in the title, it's really a fun gimmick. But that's just me. What do you think about the motion sense in the new Pixel devices in general? Tell me down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tech analysis videos just like this one. See you in the next one.